Hi, this is Julian from Minute Earth. The more we learn about the animal kingdom, the less unique humans seem. But as far as we know, no other animal on Earth faints from fright like we do. Lucky us. Like lots of other animals, when we sense we're in danger, or experience another surge of emotion, our blood pressure spikes, rushing blood to our brain and increasing our alertness. But in humans, once the threat is over, our body sometimes overcompensates, dropping our blood pressure too low and reducing the blood supply to our brain, causing us to briefly lose consciousness. In other words, we faint. While a few other animals do fall over, mainly from unrelated muscle issues, we're the only ones who lose consciousness. And that's thanks to a unique combination of two traits, an upright stance and a big brain. Spending most of our time upright, with our brain above our heart, means our blood has to fight gravity to reach the brain. And on top of that, or rather below, we have big, veiny legs, which, when we stand still for too long, collect lots of blood making it even harder to supply our brains with enough blood. While there are other animals with brains high above their hearts, none of them have brains as demanding as humans. The bigger an animal's brain, the more blood the brain needs. Our big brains hog a whopping 20% of our body's blood flow, compared to less than 7% for our closest relatives, and less than 1% in animals with even smaller brains. That's why just a slight dip in our blood pressure can interrupt the flow of blood to our brain, while even a significant drop in other animals' blood pressure won't stop their brains from getting enough blood to keep running. Or hopping. Our unique combination of traits means that even something as silly as a jump scare in a horror film, or simply the sight of blood, can cause our blood pressure to drop enough for us to, well, drop. The good news is that falling puts our head and heart at the same level, allowing blood to quickly reach our brain again. The bad news is that fainting can also lead to sometimes serious injuries, accounting for about a million hospital visits each year. But the upright stance and big brain that make humans the only animals to faint from fright are the same traits that have allowed us to thrive and spread all over the globe. So I guess you could say world domination is for the faint of heart.